If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Justin Lambert, how are you? How's your two weeks been, man? I'm good. It's been a lot of fun. Been a lot of fun blogging and excited about coming back in here today. Well, we're excited about having you back in here. How's the uh, the blog thing been going for you and the uh, and the fallout of your video? Um, a lot of my friends have seen it. Been very excited to tell me uh, what they think. Mostly positive, you know. They say you're better on numbers. radio than video or something like that? <laughs> Uh, you know, I think that's true with most people. Yeah, well, that's, that's certainly been my case. That's why you're in front of the camera and I'm behind it today. But uh, nonetheless, tell everybody about uh, the blogging experience and doing this. Had you been blogging prior to doing this for NST? And give your uh, did a little catch up um, on you. You know, I mean, I had a Facebook page and a uh, MySpace page where I put certain thoughts and different, but nothing as. Uh, Nothing like what I've been doing for WNC. I've been doing probably one or two blogs every single day. I've been blogging about the NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs. I would say that of all the, the bloggers, racing. you know, in, in my Simon Cow voice, you, you have been uh, among the more active across the spheres of sports. Obviously, with the Kentucky accent, you got rolling there. You had a little competitive advantage with the Derby and with the Oaks. I noticed that you did a lot of writing about that over the weekend as well. Uh, I'm a Derby uh, fanatic, and I... I, I being in Baltimore, maybe you now have an appreciation for the difference between Louisville and Baltimore and how the cities embrace the event. And that, to me, that's part of the institutional problem with the Preakness is that Louisville, everybody makes a big deal out of the Derby. In Baltimore, everybody runs for the hills for the Preakness. Right, right. Yeah, in Louisville, it's definitely an event. It's an event for everybody, even if you're not going it's an event. There's the Derby parties. Um, and then it's just, I mean, it's just a bigger deal at the race. I mean, I, you know, it, if I wanted to get a ticket to the grandstand of Preakness right now, I probably you know, could. At the Derby... You know, you got to plan in advance for those kind of things and be willing to spend a whole lot of money. Yeah, well, at Derby is, uh, if nothing else, they know how to gouge in Louisville. I I've learned that. <laughs> that week, definitely. Three-day weekend, you want to stay at the Econo Lodge? $1,200. There it is right there. Yeah, you know, it's 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 kind of crazy with the money that the hotels down there charge, but I guess that's uh, what super premium events do. One funny comment about my blog on the... Uh, on the Derby weekend, as I had Rachel Alexander in the uh, Oaks, but I think pretty much everybody did. And when she won by 21 uh, lengths, uh, I was vindicated. It was secretariat like. It, it was really secretariat like. Was. But on the Derby, I did a whole Derby thing where I predicted it 1 through 19, and I gave a little uh, blurb on each horse, you know, kind of how I thought they would do, what to look for. Um, I actually had Pioneer of the Nile and Musket Man in my, you know, Superfecta. So. You might be the only guy in the competition who could read the form. So, so I, had, I had those, but if you scroll down to my little comment on Mind the Bird, more or less, it said, won't be a factor. Well, you and every other <laughs> pundit, I, I think, uh, had that feeling about it. Obviously, I was supporting Papa Clem. What else have you been watching? You've been watching the Caps, been watching the Orioles, been following the draft. A lot of things have transpired here over the last couple of weeks, which is, quite frankly, one of the reasons we did the competition this time of the year was to give people a very fertile environment to write. I mean, June is not fertile. April is extremely fertile. Well, yeah, there's definitely a lot going on. I have uh, been watching the Orioles, unfortunately, and uh, the problems with their uh, pitching staff and bullpen. Uh, and I've actually been watching a lot of the NBA playoffs. You know, I'm a big college sports fan coming from Kentucky with U of L, UK, and I always talk about how I like college basketball and the NCAA tournament better than the NBA. But this NBA playoffs with the Bulls Celtics uh, series, with the Lakers actually maybe having some trouble with the Rockets, has been, I think, at least to this point, one of the better uh, NBA playoffs. Well, I would say the Celtics Bulls maybe one of the best first round playoff series ever, at least for the kind of drama it produced Four in the fan bases. Games. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, uh, are you ready to get on the clock here in a, moment, a few moments? What is uh, what's going to be on the Lawson Lambert show uh, between 325 and 340 well, I on WSD? Take, I hope to take some phone calls from people and we can talk about the football and baseball that everybody else has been talking about. But if you want to talk about NHL playoffs, if you want to talk about the NBA playoffs, if you want to talk about the Preakness coming up, heck, if you even want to talk about uh, the Champions League game that's going on right now between Barcelona and Chelsea, uh, feel free to Now, before we go into this segment, can I be really honest with you? How many phone calls do you have planted today, like the last caller, the last uh, host that was in? <laughs> I actually, I told him. Ray's Ray's question, right, Ray? Ray's nod his head over there. Ray, nod your head over there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I told a couple of people when I was going to be on, but it'll be up to them whether they call it. All right. Well, Lawson Lambert of Kentucky via Baltimore will be hosting the Coors Light King of Baltimore Sports Talk competition for the next 15 minutes. And as uh, Chuck Woolery would say, we'll be back in two and two. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.